Several classes of drugs are used in the management of hypertension. The nurse should be familiar with these drugs and their mechanisms of action. Diuretics help remove excess sodium and water from the body, reducing blood volume and lowering blood pressure. Examples include hydrochlorothiazide, furosemide, Lasix, and spironolactone, potassium sparing. ACE inhibitors block the enzyme that converts angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2, helping relax blood vessels and lower blood pressure. Examples are lisinopril, enalapril, and ramipril. Angiotensin. Two receptor blockers, ARBS, block angiotensin 2 from affecting blood vessels, relaxing them and lowering blood pressure. Common examples include losartan, valsartan, and olmosartan. Calcium channel blockers prevent calcium from entering cells in the heart and blood vessels, helping them relax and lower blood pressure. Examples include amlodipine, mainly affects blood vessels, diltiazem, and verapamil, which affect both heart rate and vessels. Beta blockers slow the heart rate and reduce the heart's workload, lowering blood pressure. Examples are metoprolol, atenolol, and carvedilol. Alpha blockers relax blood vessels, lowering blood pressure. Common examples include doxazosin, prazosin, and terazosin. Renin inhibitors block the enzyme renin, which increases blood pressure. An example is aliskirin. It's less commonly used, but it can be helpful in resistant hypertension. Central alpha agonists work in the brain to reduce nerve signals that raise blood pressure. Clonidine and methyl dopa are examples, with methyl dopa being used during pregnancy. Clonidine can cause sedation and rebound hypertension if stopped suddenly. Vasodilators directly relax blood vessels, lowering blood pressure. Examples include hydrolazine and minoxidil. In essential to note that first-line treatments often include diuretics, ACE inhibitors, or ARBs. Beta blockers and calcium channel blockers are useful for patients with heart disease. Monitoring is crucial for renal function, electrolytes, and heart rate, depending on the medication.